Um, your home ownership type. Is it a, do you rent your home or do you own your home? Um, own your home. Is it a, fan, a single detached home? Yes. Approximately when did you move in? I think it was 2005. So, how did your family end up in Crisp County? So, can you tell me a little bit more about the kind of home that y'all live in? Um, it's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, uh, brick, uh, approximately 2,000 square feet, sitting on point. Nine to seven acres. Almost one acre. Does your home currently have any rooftop solar to it? No. So, tell me why you do not have a rooftop solar. Did you make this decision or was that decision made for you? Basically, it's made for me because of finances. Being able to afford it. So, if you had rooftop Rooftop that was available if you took out the cost. Would you do rooftop? Would you put rooftop solar on your house or would you not? Yeah. Why would you? Hopefully it saves some money. In the long run anyway. Okay. So, have you ever been exposed to any rooftop solar? We went to a presentation several years ago um, in America to hear about it. But it wasn't, uh, it wasn't solar panels, really it was uh, a type of membrane, solar membrane that was supposed to be in the, go in your attic and help generate heat and, uh, or generate power. And it was like $12,000 to get it put in and a power transfer box. So we didn't mess with that. So that was just a membrane that took yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good idea if you get people to buy into it. Okay. So was it just a specific company? Did the company approach y'all? Yeah, they, they, they did send a flyer in the mail, but I don't remember who it was. It's been so long ago. It's probably changed some since then. Something must have changed because it got them down the road to see this. Fields full of solar panels. Somebody's figured out how to save some money. Mm -hmm. Certainly, like half of that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna talk about the United States a little bit. We're gonna talk about if you can identify and circle where you think in the United States people have adopted rooftop solar, just in general. Hmm. I have no idea where to start with that. <laughs> hmm. Where what areas do you think would have more solar <laughs> versus here in Cordial? Or I in think Georgia? Anywhere in Florida. Anywhere in Florida? Oh, so draw draw or circle or color on your map where you think it is. Is that the only one I get to check? No, you get to check as many as you want. I almost want to say everything right in here. Coastal state or upper coastal? Got to be some in Texas. There's a lot of sun out there. Hot, 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 hot. Long days. And then let's go with uh, Azarone. Now I'm not going to leave this off because I don't consider that part of the United States. Oh, this right here. Okay, so you think. 
relatively your middle. Why do you think those states would have it and your coast would have it more than Georgia would? Honestly? Mm-hmm. I think these people would take advantage of no rain, more sun. I think uh, Texas has a lot of no rain days. Florida, people moving from north to south, trying to save money. And I think it's the Upper East Coast just because um, those are the people who usually push stuff down our throats in the south. So they're going to try it first. Try it and see how it works. That's what I'm saying. If they, they try it and they like it, and then it's going to move. Move it on down. You used to say what happens in, on the yeah, west coast moves across, but I believe what happens up here moves down. Okay. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Whatever you think. Okay, now <laughs> we get to talk about Georgia. Lay it on where do you think in Georgia people implement sol- uh, rooftop solar? Everywhere, I guess. I'm sure there's one or two probably here that I don't know about. Do you think there's one area that might adopt it more than another? I don't think it is. In that region? Why? I don't know. Farm country. Farm country. Okay. Why would you think farm would have it more? Well, I just really don't know. It just seems to me it would be a big place. You gotta have lot big bills, and if it's saving money, they'll be doing it. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. That's what I would think. Now I'm, I'm probably wrong. I don't really know yet. I kind of looked up this one. I didn't look up Georgia solar usage. So, do you have any friends or family that have rooftop solar that you know of? I got a cousin that lives in Houston County. But they don't, it's not rooftop. It's for the, they haven't had a solar panel in the yard that works power for the barn and the electric fences. Okay, so it's a stand, so it works for the fence in the barn? Yeah, it works at the, the power and it, it runs lights, the generator, and everything in the barn. Hmm. And I'm understanding they're putting some in at the diggery. Okay. But it's going to be those big ones that fill up the yard, you know? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Do you know why, they do, that, why they've chosen to do solar? Well, my uncle said it's cheaper. It's cheaper? Oh. So are they inputting their panels, or is it being input by their power company? They got somebody, contractor, come in and do it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Shame they're going to pass on. I'm not going to get none of that inheritance. <laughs> so do you have anything else you'd like to add before we conclude your participation in our study today? I think this would be a great opportunity for a lot of people if it was affordable and there was uh, maybe hands-on learning classes about it. To really finding a way to educate, to educate about it. And, and, and make it affordable. That's it. Okay. Well, thank you for your participation. Uh-huh.